I want to talk about uh, AI systems, but more particularly to talk about the software engineering behind them. Now, you all know this guy, Mark Andreessen, and uh, he, he made his name by looking at industries he could disrupt, by figuring out how important software was, and that worked pretty well. So you looked at old industries like this, and you saw them all being disrupted by companies like this that are all based on software. Now, that's all, of course, is old news. Now we have a new generation of, of entrepreneurs, people like these, many of them you know, and they could have said they're looking at how to reinvent or disrupt based on what machine learning can do. So there's entire new classes of applications that are coming to the fray. You'll hear about a lot of those, self-driving cars, image recognition, speech recognition, game playing of various kinds that put machine learning in, in an important role. I want to talk in a little bit more detail about just one of them. And uh, at Google, we just open sourced uh, this week a system for doing this task, which is uh, captioning of pictures. So you train this system by showing it a bunch of pictures with captions, and then you test it by showing it uh, a new picture that it's never seen before, and it has to write the caption for it. And here are some examples of what it does well. You see, it does a pretty good job. And this could be a really useful service, things like uh, captioning images for the blind so they can see what's actually going on. We could do that all automatically. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of technology behind it. You'll, you can hear about uh, some of that type of stuff this week. Uh, but like most uh, machine learned systems, uh, the system's not perfect. And uh, I have some examples here of some of the outtakes. Uh, so people uploaded some images and asked for a caption. Here was one uh, image, and the caption generated was a couple of giraffes standing next to each other. <laughs> so if you remember, it stole some of the words from a previous picture about giraffes and uh, reconfigured those words a little bit, and I guess it was fooled by the pattern on the pajamas look a little bit like a reticulated giraffe. Uh, and I guess it knows that uh, giraffes are seldom solitary. They go in groups, uh, but it got confused. Uh, here's another one. The caption was a man riding a skateboard. Uh, it may be hard to see, but at the bottom, there, there are uh, horizontal lines that maybe looks a little bit like the body of a skateboard. Uh, there's no wheels there, but somehow the system just couldn't imagine that the king would be gesticulating like that uh, unless he was riding on a skateboard. <laughs> 